we're told to simplify the following. First, 2x minus x. This 2x right here means 2 times x. So think of this as 2x's. And then we're subtracting 1, so we're left with 1x. So the answer is 1x, and it's typically written without the 1. Just write x for your answer. Don't make this mistake. Don't say 2x minus x equals 2. Some people get the idea, well, here's 2x, and if we take away the x, that leaves us with the 2. That's not correct. Think of it like this. Think of two apples. If you have two apples, and you take away one, then you're just left with one apple. Same concept here. If you have two x's and you take away one, then you're left with one x. So 2x minus x is equal to x. Think of these as like terms. They're both x terms. You can think of this as 2x minus 1x. And that's the same as, if we factor this, that's the same as 2 minus 1 times x, or just x. So I've kind of belabored that point, but that one's critical to understand. OK, this next one, 2 plus x plus x. Here we want to combine like terms. There are three terms here, the 2, and this x, and this x. And these terms are the same. They're both x's. So those two together add up to 2x. And the 2 right there can't be combined with them. So this just ends up being 2 plus 2x. This 2 stays by itself. And the x plus x gives me this 2x right here. And in number 3, 2 times x times x, these are all multiplied together. The 2 stays and then the x times x becomes an x squared. And those are multiplied together. 2 times x times x is 2 times x squared.